chapter 1 verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. It's from where? Above. Everybody use the word. It's from where? Above. The psalmist said the other day, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills of Zion. From whence cometh my help? Ladies and gentlemen, your help ain't coming from the economy. Stop putting your confidence and your faith in men. Stop trusting in your economy. It's not going to get any better. No finance minister of any country has any magical powers to make any economy of any nation better. And the reason, hear me, the reason why we blame leaders all over the world, we blame leaders for our problems, blame leaders for our irresponsibility, we blame everybody, we never take responsibility. We give excuses for failure. We, we always have reasons why we are failing and reasons why we shouldn't succeed. It is never so. It's not acceptable. It is not acceptable. Say it's not acceptable. Say failure is not acceptable for you. You. It's not acceptable for you. You cannot fail and you must not fail. Say I hear you. The problem is the way we think is our mentality. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above it doesn't come from your economy it doesn't come from your nation if you don't think the right way and reprogram your mind and your thinking and have a gonshin mentality that god in the mix of farming and difficulty knows how to take care of his own you'll be subject to what the people of this world are subjected to Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights. Uh -huh. from the whom, Father of lights. Go ahead. With whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. The Bible says when men are cast down, when men fall, when men are down, when businesses are collapsing and folding up, when men and when women can't see their way out, when the going gets tough and everything falls apart, then shut down. Say, there is a lifting up. Are you hearing me, somebody? The Bible says in Psalm 3 that many be they that say that there is no hope for me. Psalm 3. But thou, O God, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. I don't know who is the lifter of your head. But I came to tell somebody this morning, no matter what is going on around you, there is a lifting. There is a lifting. There is a lifting. Somebody shout and say, there is a lifting. There is a lifting. The Bible said, those that believe in him, shall never be put to shame. Tell somebody, you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Say, you cannot be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. I refuse to be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. I will not be embarrassed. I refuse to be embarrassed. Say, I refuse to be embarrassed. Say, I refuse to accept failure. I refuse to accept defeat. In the name of Jesus, I refuse it. Say, I repel it by divine authority. Your problem, tell somebody, your problem is not lack of money. It's lack of ideas. The Bill Gates of this world, the Warren Buffers of this world, they came up with an idea, an idea that worked. And when that idea went into motion, it produced money. Whenever you lack money, it's lack of innovative ideas. You are a more time potential billionaire. You are sitting on a gold mine. That idea you have in your head can make you money. But until you put that idea into action, you will always lack and you will always want. From today, I command every innovative idea in your head and in your heart to become a reality in the name of the Lord Jesus 
I break your idea through negative forces and elements. We need, like never before, to believe God for divine exemption. Because we live in difficult and in trying times in the history of humanity. If you look at the killings and the destructions, it's too much. Come with me, please, to Genesis 47 and the 27 verse. Genesis 47, the 27 verse. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen. And they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. How can you be slaves and be in captivity and grow and multiply? It doesn't matter where you dwell. As long as there is a land where you dwell, there is good in that land. And you can grow and you can increase and you can multiply if you have a Goshen mentality. Say Goshen mentality. This is Goshen City. Until you change the way you think. You see, the way you think determines your decisions. And your decisions determine the outcomes of your life. You have to change the way you think because until you change the way you think, the choices and the decisions you make will always be wrong. And I'm going to prove it to you. Why a lot of Christians struggle and why a lot of Christians are bro broke because we have a wrong thinking, a wrong mentality. And we don't operate by the rules of our kingdom. We are trying to operate by the rules of another kingdom and it doesn't work for us because their DNA is different from our DNA. See, I hear you. Exodus 10, 22 and 23. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven mm -hmm. and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt uh -huh. three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Who had lights? Children of Israel. Oh, who had lied? The children of Israel. These were covenant children. Say covenant people. Covenant people. Tell somebody, you are a covenant child. You are a covenant child of God. The covenant child of God. And where there was darkness, hardship, ignorance, gross darkness, that they couldn't see one another because of the, 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 the level of the darkness. The Bible said, in the mix of darkness, Children of covenant had exemption from darkness and they had light. I declare in the name of Jesus that irrespective of where you live upon the face of the earth, as long as you stay in covenant with God, you will operate on that divine exemption and you will have divine immunity and supernatural provision. If you believe it, put your hands together, shout yes.